demand to exact responsibility from a person, then give the person freedom. Because anybody who does not have freedom cannot be held to account. Because when you don't have freedom and you act, you are not acting on your own. You are acting because there's a certain power, there's a certain force. And that's the reason why when a prisoner is condemned to die, and we give the, the gun to the policeman to shoot that criminal, after the shot, nobody convicts him for murder. So yeah. Okay. So so yeah. I mean I mean when when a convict when somebody has been convicted to die by execution and we give the gun to a soldier to go and kill that person and he fires the gun and kills that person, no criminal, no crime is raised against that individual because that person did not have the freedom to exercise anything. He was enjoying to do exactly what we had expected him to do. However, if they are current suspects under whatever circumstance, if 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 the suspect they are they do not guard themselves well and that enables the suspect to get their freedom and attempt to run away, and they think that the only way to rearrest the suspect is to kill that person, they will face the consequences of their action. This is the difference between freedom and responsibility, and we should not take it away from anybody. We cannot reinvent the wheel. The best principle under giving journalistic practice and professional journalistic practice is internal regulation. When you allow individuals to regulate themselves, that is the best means of exacting accountability from them. It is not less in terms of the responsibility that we want to derive from you.